السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله بعد ولكم uh, My sons, we are talking about the heroes of Islam When you think or when you read the, the topic heroes Our heroes in Islam, maybe you think about uh, football Some people say, or now people use the word heroes for football, for boxing, for maybe video games but when we talk about the companions رضي الله تعالى عنهم, they are heroes in something okay, support support the Muslims something beneficial for the Muslim Ummah inshallah in these few minutes I will mention three examples from the uh, young companions رضي الله تعالى عنهم the first one <coughs> Zayd ibn Thabit رضي الله تعالى عنه you know the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as a Muslim leader he is the Prophet, the Messenger, the Imam, the Judge alayhi salatu wa salam, the Father, the, the Shaykh, the Masjid he was doing many things alayhi salatu wa salam and uh, because he is the leader of the Muslim Ummah so he needs to do the letters, send letters and receive letters from the other countries, from the other religions and who was there with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Medina the Jews, okay, and also in Khaybar. Khaybar is a place not inside Medina, also outside Medina. There is a, a space between uh, Medina and Khaybar. So there was a problem. With what was this problem? When the Prophet sends, he wants to send a letter to them or to receive a letter to, for them, okay. Not all of them using the same language. Okay, maybe the Jews in Medina, they use the same language, Arabic language. Okay, but what about the other uh, group in Medina? They are using their language, the Hebrew or uh, Syriania. The Jews are very bad people. Don't trust them at all. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, I cannot trust the Jews. Yani for example, when they send a letter to us, okay, how to translate the, from the Jews outside Medina? It is in a different language. Now, how can I trust them? Or, sorry, sorry, what was the process? The process, he calls one of the Jews in Medina, please translate this letter from your friends. See? Okay, so one of the Jews in Medina will translate the letter. Now the Prophet ﷺ wants to reply, also, he needs this man to, again, translate from Arabic to their language. But what he is translating, correct? We don't know. The Prophet ﷺ said, La Amen, I cannot trust this translation. So he said to one of the companions, Zayd ibn Thabit, radiyallahu ta'ala. Zayd ibn Thabit, different than Zayd ibn Haritha. Zayd ibn Haritha, he came from Mecca to Medina with the Prophet ﷺ. Zayd ibn Thabit, he is Ansari. He is from the Ansar, Zayd bin Thabit. He says Zayd bin Thabit, and he was young. Zayd bin Thabit was young. Maybe uh, he was 13, 14, yeah, something less than 20. For sure, less than 20 years old. Because when the Prophet ﷺ entered Medina, he was 11. He was 11 years old. Like Anas. Anas was 10 years old. So no doubt he was less than 20 years old. He said, Zayd, Please learn the language of the Jews. Because I cannot trust them. So you will translate the letters for me. And also you will write for me. So it is not only verbal translation. It is also writing. And you know this is extra effort. I am sure that for some of you, you can speak Arabic صح? when you go to the Jamia. You can say, Chem Hada, Sah, Khamsin Fils, okay, La, make it less, Khasm. Okay, you can speak some of the words, can, but can you write them? Difficult. Okay, so speaking a skill and also writing it is a different skill. Zayd and Thabit should learn both how to speak, 
how to trans and also translation it is not easy translation okay translation is not easy so translation and writing Zayd bin Thabit radiyallahu ta'ala an said فما مر بي نصف شهر حتى تعلمته له he said I learned that within half a month يعني about 15 days he learned how to speak how to translate how to write within half a month رضي الله تعالى عنه فلما تعلمته كان إذا كتب إلى يهود كتبت إليهم وإذا كتبوا إلي قرأت له كتابهم so when I learned that so now my job when there is a letter from the Jews I was translating this letter to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and when he writes something when he writes something uh, when he wants to write something for them I was writing for him the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم speaks in Arabic and immediately I translate this in their language so he is one of the heroes of Islam that he learned the language what was the purpose? to study medicine صح? it is not to study medicine it is not for uh, to apply for a job you know sometimes yeah, for example here in, in Kuwait those who the government send some people to study medicine in France so they spend from six months so it is half a year not half a month from six months to one year to learn the French, uh, the French language then they study medicine in this language or Germany or whatever China, China or so they need to learn in the, the language for their dunya how long? six months, one year, two years but Zayn Thabit for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he learned that language within half a month who is ready to give his time, his effort for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Did we think to learn a language to give da'wah? Okay, now many Muslims, they, they spend money, okay, and time and effort day and night to learn a language for their dunya. We should do this for, for the akhirah. Of course, I don't mean it is haram. So, Shaykh, yeah, it is haram to study English and to, to study, for example, engineering. I will not say this is haram. But now who is ready to do this for the dunya? He is one of the heroes in, in Islam. Zayd ibn Thabit. But unfortunately, people now don't consider this as a hero who studies the language to translate the letters for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Another example. Rabi'ah radiyallahu ta'ala an one of the companions Rabi'ah ibn Ka'b he said kuntu abit ma'a rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fa aytaytuhu bi wadu'ihi I was with rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at night and when I brought him his water Rabi'ah he, he was not the son of rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he was not his nephew Maybe one of the companions of the Ansar, and also again he was young. But he likes to stay there waiting the Prophet ﷺ, al-Fajr, or for the Qiyam al-Layl, when he wakes up for Qiyam al-Layl, for Fajr, preparing for him the wudu, the water. Tayyib. Then one day the Prophet ﷺ said, Sell. The Prophet ﷺ said to Rabi'ah, asks. Ask anything from me. It is like an open check. Yalla. How much you put? One million dinar? Two millions? Okay. The Prophet ﷺ said, ask. Rabi'a said, أَسْأَلُكَ مُرَافَقَتَكَ فِي الْجَنَّةِ Rabi'a said to the Prophet ﷺ, I ask to accompany you in paradise. Wallahi, he is a hero. Why? Because his aim to be with the Prophet ﷺ in, in Jannah. He did not say, Ya Rasulullah, ask for, for me, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for me to be in paradise. He said, Ya Rasulullah, I want to be with you in paradise. And subhanAllah, to have this uh, thinking, no doubt, will lead the person to work hard and harder. 
when I am thinking, let's finish the school, خلاص. Okay, anything, I get A, B, C, D, whatever, just to pass. Okay? Do you think this student will be active and uh, studying hard? Usually, this kind of students who think only to pass the exam, they will not study hard. But those who, likes, who like to be A plus, not a, a plus student, you will find them working day and night, studying hard, doing their homework, paying attention during the lecture. Subhanallah. So we should have a very high aim goal for us. Okay, not only yalla, let's finish, khalas. Yalla, the school, let's finish the school. Yalla, we have lecture, let's finish the lecture. No, I should, I should have this very high motivation for me that how to achieve the best when I attend the lecture, when I, I'm going to my school, خلاص, I, I want to be the best. I want to be the best. I should work for being the best student to get A. This is Rabi'ah, radiallahu ta'ala. When there is an interesting uh, hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went to a man with some of his friends in the desert, Bedouin. So he offered them uh, yani, uh, as guests, maybe some meat, some milk. The Prophet وسلم, said, Okay, what do you like? What do you have to like? What do you yani, ask me something? Yani, you honored us, you presented us something, so now it is your turn. So this man said, oh, Rasulullah, well, I like to have something like a she camel, a goat. The Prophet وسلم, يعني, uh, uh, he did not wonder, but he did not like this way. He said, why you are not like the old lady of Bani Israel? Then the companion said, oh, Rasul, what is the story of that lady? He mentioned the story, okay? Uh, it's a long story, but I like to take the part. When Musa والسلام, needed something from that lady, the old lady. She said, okay, I will tell you. He, he needed an information from that lady. Tell us, where, where is the grave of Yusuf, alayhi salatu wasalam? Because, you know, Yusuf, before Musa, alayhi salatu wasalam. The Prophet Yusuf, before the Prophet Musa, alayhi salatu wasalam. So she said, no, I will not tell you until you give me what I want. What do you want? She said, I want to be with you in paradise. Musa alayhi salatu wasalam hesitated. He did not ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala immediately. Yani, who are you to be with a messenger? To be with me, I'm the messenger. I'm one of the best messengers to be with me in paradise. Okay, then Musa alayhi salatu wasalam asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for her to be with, with him in paradise. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam said, why you are not like this lady? Okay, you look up and if it is related to the Akhirah, not dunya. If it is related to the Akhirah, always you look up how to achieve more and more uh, in the Akhirah. And also in the good things. So this is the uh, second example, second hero. Rabi'a radiyallahu ta'ala. And what was the answer also? It is important to know the answer. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, فَعِنِّي عَلَى نَفْسِكْ بِكَثْرَةِ السُّجُودِ the Prophet said, Then help me to accomplish this for you by devoting yourself often to prostration. Which means, pray more. What is meaning a lot of sujood? Pray more. And this is Islam. Islam is a practical religion. Islam not is a religion for someone who is sitting at home, playing PlayStation, iPad, okay, eating nuts, and to achieve everything. No, Islam is a practical religion. You want to achieve something, you have to work. You have to do something. Or you have to do the best thing that you can do. But sitting like that, lying down, sleeping more time, this is not the correct Muslim. And even, you know the story of Maryam? When she gave birth, Isa alayhi salatu you know, uh, the, the, the lady, after giving birth, she will be very weak. Because giving birth is a very tough process. Very tough process. 
okay, using the muscles of the body. And you know, sometimes the w women spend maybe three hours, four hours to give birth. Sometimes the next day, sometimes, or not sometimes, maybe rarely, the woman, the mother, dies during giving birth. So it is not an easy process. So imagine after giving birth, Maryam, when she gave birth of Isa, alayhi salatu wasalam, okay, she, she was alone and she needs to eat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told her, وَهُزِّ إِلَيْكِ بِجِدْعِ النَّخْلَةِ Shake the trunk of the palm tree. Okay. Now, how, how, many, how many people here? We are 20 or 30? Do you think that we can shake the trunk of the palm tree? It is, it is almost impossible for us. You know, you need, you need a big car to remove it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told this lady, when she was very weak, move this trunk. And the uh, dates will fall on you. Okay, the scholars mention a very important point, which is that you have to do something. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can send the food to her mouth. صح? Allah can send an angel to feed her. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can make her to, to be full stomach without anything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do anything. He wants subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to inform us that you have to take an action. This is very important. Uh, the third hero, uh, Anas ibn Malik, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. When the Prophet وسلم, came to Medina, the age of Anas was 10 years old. 10 years old. Okay. And the first example, I mentioned 11. He was, he was 11 years old. Thabit. Uh, mm. Zayd bin Thabit. So he was 10 years old. His mother, Umm Sulaim, radiyallahu ta'ala anha. When the Prophet وسلم, came to Medina, she took her son, Anas. Ta'al, come. She said, Ya Rasulullah, khuwaydumuk, Anas. This is your servant. He is, I, 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 I brought him for the sake of Allah to serve you. Okay? So Anas radiallahu ta'ala said, I served the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 10 years. Because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came the, the, the first year of Hijrah. Okay? And he passed away at the beginning of 11th. So he said, I served him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 10 years. Okay, this age from 10 to 20, to 20, this is now, it is the main age to play, to enjoy. So can we say he wasted his life? Anas radiallahu ta'ala an. Okay. Now who, do you accept that your father tells you, khalas, from today, you have to stay in the masjid. From Asr to Isha. From Asr, what is time of Asr? About 3 p.m., until Isha, until people finish from the Salah, from 3 to 7.30. You should stay in the masjid serving people. Cleaning the masjid, okay, and if someone needs water, you help him, you, okay, you remind the muaddin, maybe he's sleeping, you wake him up to give the adhan, you should stay in the masjid. Okay, are you ready for that? Every day, three hours, four hours? Are you ready? You go to the masjid one time every day, or yani, I mean, between Maghrib and Isha, you spend one hour in the masjid, serving the people in the masjid, helping the others, the masahif, you prepare, yani, you arrange the masahif. You know, in some masajid, some of our masajid today, well, you feel sorry. Enter the masjid, you'll find books, okay, mushaf with kitab, uh, fiqh, uh, or with hadith book, here and there, yani, Haram, or some, uh, sometimes you will notice people come to the masjid and they put their books there in the masjid and they leave. If they have any book in the, at home, yell. Their parents tell them, yell, send them to the masjid. صح? You go to the masjid, you'll find different books. Sometimes book not related to the masjid. Science book, math book, halas. Books of the schools, yell, send them to the masjid. So we need some, some Muslims to Take the, uh, take the responsibility to arrange that. So, Anas radiallahu ta'ala, wallahi, he's one of the heroes. He spent 10, he said, 10 years I saved the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Okay? And of course, he said, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not blame me. 10 years, 
he did not blame me. He did not say, he, he did not say off for me. He did not tell me why you did not do that and why uh, you, you did that. Never. He did not criticize me. He did not blame me. Ten years. I said to him, ten years, alayhi salatu was salam. Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu. So these are the, the three examples. What is the message that I like to convey for you? To be a hero, okay, it is not to have one million followers, the Facebook, or the Instagram, the Snapchat. To be a hero, not to, uh, to have the uh, first position in boxing or karate or these things. This is not important in Islam. Again, I'm not telling you this is haram or halal. I mean, it is not important. Muslims, you know, should not uh, work hard to achieve something in dunya useless. Okay, because something useful in dunya, to be a good doctor, this is useful or not? This is useful. We need good doctors. We need good engineers. We need good accountants. Because we need Islamic banks. We need uh, good doctors to treat us according to the sharia, to follow the sharia rules. We need, okay, many things in dunya. So if you have good intention, Allah will reward you. But you know, some, sometimes it is useless. Like what? Hmm? Give me an example. Some Muslims spend a lot of time, they like to be well experienced, and I feel that it is useless. Like what? Everything useful? Any example? Hmm? Music, it is not only useless, it is haram. <laughs> to, to spend time learning music and uh, being experienced in this. Video games, yes. One, one my friend, okay, not all the sports. One of my friends, he said, my son is getting money. He's playing and now he reached to a level that people ask him about this video game. This is good or not good, what is the positive and the negative? Subhanallah. Your son spends maybe four, five, six hours every day for what? Okay, what is the benefit for the Muslim Ummah? What is the benefit for you in this? And you know, sometimes it is haram. Sometimes it is haram things and the, the games, the video games, music and like women. And you should be careful. You should be careful. And you try to avoid video games. If you are brain, try to avoid video games. Do something useful for your health. Yeah, like what you mentioned, sport. Some kinds of sport, no. We need them to make your, because in Islam it is needed to make your body strong. I don't mean you uh, weight lifter, your muscle, one meter here. We don't mean that. Okay, they take injection, cortisone, tablets, proteins, they damage their kidneys, their brain. SubhanAllah, this is crazy. Some of them, they, they go crazy. They spend maybe three hours, subhanAllah, you should be careful. But to have a strong body, I mean, maybe every day you walk uh, half an hour, one hour, okay, you do a push up and these things, this is good. Why? I should, I'm Muslim and I should have a healthy body because if I have healthy body, my brain will be good. Okay, so not uh, everything related to dunya haram or useless, something useful, we need that. And if you have good intention, Allah will reward you. What do I mean by having good intention? I like to study medicine. I like to be a pediatric, uh, يعني, uh, orthopedic department or pediatric dermatologist. Why? No, dermatologist, this is the best. Why? Because now many people, they like to change their faces. The nose is big, make it small. The nose is small, make it big. صح? Okay? So if my intention is like that, this is bad intention. Or I like to be a doctor to money. My salary is three, four thousand dinar. Okay. This is, uh, if you are doing it the proper way, we will, not, we will not say this is haram, but you are using your time in dunya for the money. But if your intention, la wallah, I want to work as a doctor. Because this field, we don't have any Muslim doctor. So I like to specialize in this field and to benefit the Muslim ummah. Okay, what, what is the point that I specialize in this field? Because we have a non-Muslim doctor here. 
Always we are asking the non-Muslim doctors to help us. Or we are paying them money. No, we want the Muslim Ummah to be sufficient. To suffice the Muslim Ummah. Okay, then Allah will reward you. Allah will reward you. So these are the three examples. Can you remember the names? Zayd ibn Thabit. Anas ibn Malik. Rabi'ah. Okay? So we have only three heroes in Islam. Sah? Wallahi, all of them heroes. The companions, radiallahu ta'ala. All of them are heroes. But I mentioned only three examples. So we need to read about them. Listen, if there are lectures, you know, some lectures, mashallah, very nice about the heroes of Islam. Okay? You should learn from them how they spent their life. This is very important. We should not waste our life. Okay? Video game and, you know, ridiculous things. And some of them haram. But if you read about the scholars of Islam, the heroes of Islam, this will motivate you, no doubt. Okay? Any question? You have a question or you want to leave? Huh? You are heroes to leave? <laughs> Mashallah. No, Inshallah, you are, all of you are heroes because Saturday is off. And maybe most of the Muslims sleeping. They say Saturday it is off day for sleeping. So inshallah you are heroes. You are here every Saturday. It is an off day, but you are learning your religion. So inshallah all of you are heroes to take part of your time for the Akhirah. Okay, you will find some people, okay, of course many Muslims sleeping. Saturday we are sleeping. Okay, or if they are awake, they waste their time video games or to gain money they wa they try to find another job i mean for us as fathers no during the weekend i should work to collect extra money but you are coming here to learn your religion so inshallah you are heroes of islam okay heroes or not heroes heroes barakallah fikum jazakumullah khair sallallahu alaihi wasallam